Hello star seeds, beautiful souls, and tarot lovers. Welcome to Libra's Cafe here on the Hourglass, where I will be serving you clear, simple, refreshing, useful, energetic insights on themes, trends occurring in your Libra life. What's going on, Libra gang gang? Happy 2020. Happy 2020. So we're going to shift the focus today on Libra's Cafe. I want to see some things uh, for the week ahead for our Libras. Um, this could resonate with not only your sun, your sun sign, but also your moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, uh, rising sign, <laughs> and also your, no, your north or south mo node. Sorry stammer in there all right so yeah i want to shift the focus a little bit i want to see what's coming towards libra and you know what's in the tides for libra what's coming towards libra what is libra attracting and then i want to talk about what do we need to pay attention to so we could open this new year in a very high note all right you guys i do pray you have the courage to see the chains that hold you back and i hope you find the courage to break them because the theme for 2020 is on the hourglass a unbullshitified life all right that's my theme here in the hourglass you guys libra gang gang <laughs> oh you guys i just want to say first of all thank you to all the new subscribers we have hit our first 1,000 subscribers hit on the Hourglass. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was like Christmas all over again for me. All right, so I just want to say a very warm appreciation goes out to those that are still riding with me from the very start. I'm so blown away by the courage and the compassion of the silent followers that uh, sent me a lot of private venting emails. I hope I said that correctly. I just want to say you guys are a huge inspiration. As I read the emails, you guys should reread it. You have not only overcome many struggles in love and life, but you could see the transformation from the beginning of you guys' email to the end. So I'm very honored. I feel very um, warm and fuzzy that you have chosen the hourglass to vent to. Your privacy is always, um, your privacy and patience is very valuable here at the Hourglass, all right? So, you know, again, huge inspiration. You guys show your spiritual strength, your tenacity, and it kind of ignites the warrior spirit in me. So thank you guys. Thank you. It's an honor to be here with the Hourglass community. All right, Libras, uh, back to uh, what I was talking about here. The week ahead for Libra. What's coming in for Libras? What is the theme here? Oh, wow. So we have uh, winter and we have the snake. So with winter, it's saying here to take care of your needs first, Libra. All right. We also have the snake that says uh, shadow skin. So we're going to start with winter first. And this is basically the last card in the deck, you guys. We see this wolf... Um, coming through some of you may have your spirit animal as wolves you know wolves they, th they thrive and they work alone or they could work in a pack all right um with this card is talking about moving beyond insecurities and relaxing your space libras ask yourself what you need to feel supported and alive uh with this card is coming through um you may also uncover something from the past that you may have buried deep so this may have happened in the winter time or this may be winter of 2020 take it how it resonates again all of the messages are not going to apply so don't try to fit uh this may not be the reading for you at this time maybe in a later um a later time as well but you could still join the entertainment <laughs> so in this may be also talking about important energies with regarding some questions or intentions that you have so that's kind of crazy that it's with shed your skin i feel like it's something that's very important or imperative that you should be getting out of this reading today um it's this card winter is saying you know do everything that you need to to be your best and move beyond any fears and limitations you need to feel relaxed in your own space you guys all right, so let's go for let's go talk about the snake shed old skin, you guys. So it says cast off the old and reveal your true colors, talents and gifts to the world. So some of you may need to move beyond your limits and your uh, insecurities here with the wolf. 
all right some of you work better alone and you could do it in a pack as well but you need to move beyond things are coming up for you to shed it as well that's what i'm saying it's very epic here that the snake is coming out here as well all right so um, some of you may have a kundalini rising as well or kundalini activation as well. Your spiritual potential or gifts are coming to the forefront. Things that you may have suppressed deep down or buried them are now coming up for a reason and it's to trigger you to be into your highest form or your highest spiritual potential, you guys. Wow. Transformation is in the air. All right. So again, shedding the old skin, shedding the old beliefs, shedding the old way of life, Libras. Again, I was trying to focus. I was trying to shift to help me, to help me, my ancestors and God. This is it right here. Week ahead, Libra, what's coming in? So I'm trying to shift the focus here for uh, Libra's Cafe. A lot of us has been going through a lot of trying times with people that we care about or we assume cared about us. So it's time to shift the focus back on us. It's time to release and surrender those situations that did not work out or was taking too much out of you to make work, all right? It was pushing you, it was exhausting you, and it's time to shed that out, all right? It's gonna be okay, Libra. It's gonna be okay, all right? So um, negative thoughts, you may need to put those things in the past when it comes to these gifts that you have, Libra. It's the snake card talks about renewal, washing over your life at the same time. So some of you may have a clean slate, eh? And it's time to take care of your own needs, Libras. I love you. Hats off to my Libra Kings that are watching. You're always welcome. I know I speak mostly to the feminines or the female Libras, but I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to the femininity, the divine feminine within you as well, all right? Things that you need to heal when it comes to love, when it comes to nourishing yourself, when it comes to um, being passive or moving gentle, uh, more gentle in your life, all right? It's time to focus more on your own personal commitments for growth as well recognize um that the world that you're living in reflects a lot of things inside of yourself this is why we have shedding of the skin all right recognize your own challenges and move beyond that renewal abundance and connection let yourself be reborn and celebrated libra Woo! i love that Ooh, girl guys you need to celebrate yourself at least once a week whether you're taking time out to meditate to regain your power, whatever the case may be, even tapping into those spiritual gifts. Again, this deck was gifted to the hourglass for Christmas. I'm very grateful to that loyal client that has been with me from the very first tarot deck to maybe my 30th as now. I haven't counted it yet. So we're going to jump into some tarot and get some details or who may be the characters may be in your story or who you may be. Because again, we are focusing on what's coming in. What should we be paying more attention to? And that is shedding of the old skin and taking care of your needs, moving beyond your insecurities and your limitations, Libra. The wolf is a very intuitive uh, animal as well. It could be both domesticated and wild, all right? So we have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords could be talking about an air uh, sign as yourself, Libra or Gemini or an Aquarius, we have um, this warrior on this boat that's moving forward. So some of you may be moving on from a sticky situation, a situation that caused a lot of strife, a lot of stress in your life, a lot of confusion. So with the Six of Swords, we're transitioning. We're having movement. Libra, this is happening whether or not you're going to be a part of it. It's happening. You're having this Kundalini activation. These things that had you on the edge, it triggered your healing. It trigger you to re rediscover who the fuck you really are. Oh, I just dropped the F-bomb, you guys. I'm sorry, but this is my channel, and I do drop a lot of F-bombs. I quote a lot of rap from Tupac, so if that's kind of putting you on your edge, maybe you should click off now, all right? So the song I got from here is looking, staring at the world through my rearview mirror. Some of you may know it. Some of you may not. You may need to check that out. It's by Tupac Shakur, all right? Staring. At, my, at the world through my rearview mirror. All right, so check that out. I do see some of you have ancestors that's guiding you, that's blowing breath of life in you. So some of you may not be understanding how you're making it through the day, how you're making it through these experiences. It's because you have your guardians next to you, breathing life into you when you're sleeping, when you're just waking up, they're there to give you this extra energy, this extra boost, to, to let you know or reassure you that it's going to be okay moving forward, Libra. Some of you may have this um, 
this leopard spirit as well very strong i do see the snake again appearing in the six of swords so you need to be very strong when you are um, moving through your kundalini activation or rising your some of your chakras are being or chakras are being cleared all right again having this trans transition you're on a journey here or you're getting back on the journey some of you are traveling relocating as well let's talk about more or you're moving on from another air sign as yourself we have three of cups and the ace of wands so there's a change of energy i love to associate the ace of wands with your spirit this could also be spirit coming into your life as well again i did see the ancestors blowing that breath of life in your air your spirit animals could very well be assisting you in your growth as well shift of energy some of you may have had a very uh high sexual um encounter with someone with the three of cups they may have even put you in a three party or you have unwillingly known that you entered a three party situation for some of you you need to celebrate again didn't i just mention that celebrate yourself at least once a week libra that's all it takes to uh recalibrate your energy you get what i'm saying somebody may also want to um reconnect with you being that you moved away from them all right. I see that you need to celebrate. Some of you may have friends that are encouraging you to be on this journey as well. Excuse me, baby. That's my big baby out there barking at the door. So again, you may need to celebrate your journey and make a deeper commitment for your future with the three of cups. You guys, three of cups could be talking about Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, energy. Ace of Wands could be a fire element uh, in your um, in your energy. Let's get some more cards. Some of you may be um, needing to change your energy or shift your energy with um, relying on people or you needing to ask for permission to move on or to move away or to relocate. Some of you um, with the three of cups, I also get that you may be too much. Um, it's almost like people are running your life for you or you're just too much time and energy that's dedicated to others and not yourself and this is why we have take care of your needs all right libra a lot of passion here a lot of passion i got the phrase adrenaline adrenaline rush to move forward so some of you may be feeling like it's time to do it as well you'll be getting nudges dreams we have the Ten of Pentacles, Ooh. financial stability. This could also be good health. This could also be a family card. You may be needing to move towards your soul family or you may need to relocate with your family, celebrating some type of milestone or this may be a future commitment with your family with the Ten of Pentacles, maybe dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well yeah some type of inheritance or wealth with family there may be even be a family reunion or retirement for some of you some type of stable establishment as well it's coming your way leaves tell me more about the ten of pentacles okay so we have a bunch of cards wanted to come out so we have the strength card we have the princess of swords, maybe a page of swords. Some of you <clears throat> maybe ha may have a child, a student at home. Some of you may need to focus on some core issues or you have a child at home that's very, uh, they're all about the truth and justice. So this is, they may be a air sign as well, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that um, may be standing up for themselves kind of headstrong is what I'm getting, or this may be your energy, the energy that you need to tap into. We have Leo coming out here, seven of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So, you know, yeah. So it's very persistent energy. Uh, you could be dealing with someone that's the opposite as you, like an Aries sign. You may have an Aries child. You know, pages could talk about a child or children as well. Some of you may need to even focus on this child. Or they're giving you strength with the truth. <laughs> Some of you may need to talk to your children about the truth. 
about a situation or even relocating before you do make that decision. So you may need to consult with your family with the Ten of Pentacles and the page Princess of Swords. All right, so what I get for the Seven of Wands here is that it may be a challenge here and you're trying to defend yourself or you're going to be the last person standing with your strength paired here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, once you step into this energy of shedding your old skin and taking more care of yourself, you're going to see the strength of some type of inner power come through and you're going to be, some of you are going to be in this uh, princess of swords or this page of swords energy where you're having a lot, or you're going to put yourself in a position to make a great choice when it comes to your family. Uh, the page of swords or the princess of swords could also talk about good news, clarity on your goals is going to come through for you. And it's going to give you that inner strength, that inner power to defend yourself through these challenges. Also get the last one standing, the last man standing, excuse me. I'm belching all on the, on the mic and stuff. All right, so the Seven of Wands, you guys, I read this card intuitively because it's nothing close to the traditional tarot or the traditional Rider Wave deck. Yeah, so you're going to have to have laser focus or you're going to have to have a pristine focus here because they're going to have a lot of challenges that's going to be coming at you, possibly from family members that may not agree with your decision. And you're going to have to really defend yourself or you're going to have to protect your energy. We did, we did see that with take care of your needs first. So some of you may be very, uh, I wouldn't say codependent, but you have this um, routine of always doing for others more than you do for yourself. And it's time to like shift that, that energy. Somebody, some of you may have a reunion with the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. And you're going to try to protect yourself from that. Or you're going to feel very uh, defensive of this person. Maybe a Leo. Very immature with the Princess of Swords. Or they have uh, poor communication skills that's going on here. Uh, the Strength card could talk about... Uh, the number eight. So you may have progress here with your inner strength as well. You may be resisting someone to, yeah, someone that you may have left behind or move away from. You shifted your energy from them. Possibly somebody that has a family or you had a family with this person and now it's like you're protecting yourself from the challenges that they come with. Again, shedding the old skin with the snake. You're having this activation of your spiritual gifts or spiritual potential due to some type of challenges with family. Family issues as well. Shield. I see the word shield in the strength card. And the seven of wands. So it's like you're shielding yourself. Again, take care of your needs. Because, you know, again, with the wolf card, it's saying here that, and it may be a cold, this may be a cold situation. It doesn't have to mean that it's going to happen in winter or happen in winter. It could also mean that this situation is like very cold or harsh to your health. And again, with take care of your needs, you, you Libra have the ability to work alone or with family or group of people your pack. But what I'm seeing with the seven of wands is it's sticking out to me. I see the number six as well. I see the words um, gas or yas, yasmin. Somebody here is very protective of themselves and it may be kind of destructive as well. And it's like you need to focus, bring the focus back on you. Some of you may have did this, shed a lot of people from your life, and now they're trying to attack you or bring conflict. And it's like you're trying to defend yourself and you're going to be the last person standing because you're very strong. You have this inner power, this inner reservoir of power, of spiritual strength that you're going to tap into. And it's going to put you in a position to make good decisions. You're going to have some good news coming into Libra. That's possibly shift going to shift your energy 
we have the ten of swords so again this may be a very painful ending for you a very painful cycle that you're going through libra but it's happening to usher in a new um phase in your life it's a transitioning phase with the six of swords it's part of your journey and again it, it's going to tap into your spiritual potential and it's going to put you i keep seeing the hawk and like this higher heights like it's going to put you in a position where you could look down and see who's really challenging you who is against you and it's going to make more time for you to uh Jeez, my nail polish is coming off because I have very oily nail beds. So, yeah, it's going to put you in a position to make a great future commitment, Libra. And I see here you're going to have some financial stability. You may even have a home or relocate to a very nice neighborhood, a nice paying job. <clears throat> you're going to build a lot of confidence here. Some of you may need to sh uh, shed, your, shed yourself from a Leo. That's very immature in communication. This person may live at a distance or this may be a long distance relationship. I feel like they're very lazy or they're very, they're very greed or they have greed. And this is what they're at attracted to because we hardly see any cups, uh, cup emotions going on here. We see a lot of pentacles and a lot of passion. So passion and love, unconditional love is like kind of different, you know, but again, things are happening Things are being brought to the forefront to give you a revelation, Libras, on what you need to do and how you need to take care of yourself. <clears throat> the wolf energy and the snake energy coming up here. Somebody may be a snake here as well in your family. People that you're associating with gossiping about you. All right, some of you are having past life dreams as well. Waking up with these weird dreams, right? So we have 1010. 1010 is often an indication that you st should stay optimistic about where you're at and about where you're going because you have a lot of movement that's going on here with the six of swords. Some of you, this person, this Leo may come back into your life, but it's all talk with no action. And you may need to protect yourself from that person. We have, you're not afraid. Oh, and accept love. All right. So accept love wanted to really pop there. Put this deck away. Where should I put it? so much things going on in my desk all right so i really want to read from the book but i can't seem to find it right now Libras. so hold on one second ah, all right here we go got it all right so i do hope you guys enjoy when i read to you because i do enjoy reading so that number is 39 you may be 39 okay so somebody may be wanting to collaborate with you libra Ever since you moved away or you moved on, this person may want to reconnect, have this reunion. They may be very passionate. They may even want to have sex with you, Libra. But it's like you're protect. It's like you're thinking about yourself right now, all right. And you're only accepting love is what I heard. Is what I just heard, all right. Yeah, you only accept in stable love is what I just got. All right. So it says, as a as a divine child of the universe, your Creator fully loves your Holy Spirit. Moreover, your spirit is pleasing to God and to those around you. Your ego doubts the tr this truth. It whispers into your air that you aren't good enough, smart enough, attractive enough, or accomplished enough to be genuinely loved. This is a lie, which you might fight. <laughs> your infinite light in the learning curve of human experience, your infinite light in the learning curve of the human experience. Your creator knows you only to be beautiful, divine, infinite light and loves you without condition. Only your ego leads you to believe otherwise. Summon your light and cast it upon the shadows of your fears, Libras. There's no need to seek love for it's present for you now. There's only a need for you to relax your fears and accept the love that your creator and life has for you at this moment. Ask yourself, Libras, where am I not feeling love? Where am I rejecting it? What is my ego saying that may make me feel so inadequate? What shadow are dimming the light of love coming towards me? Hmm. Ask your spirit to shed its brilliant illumination onto these dark, fearful thoughts. Breathe in 
and accept the light and love your creator has for you. Let it chase the shadows of self-doubt and judgment away. Beautiful. Again, shifting that energy, you guys. So we're going to do some letter confirmations. This could be first, middle, last initials. Also, uh, if you guys need to tap into nature, we're going to have some nature quotes. Also, uh, nationalities as well. All right. Yeah, so the number 33 is popping out of one of these cards to me will as well or the phrase i will so you may be dealing with a, a leo for real because i think that's the leo um affirmation all right so we have caribbean <laughs> mm, i'm from the caribbean we have health issues it's key these are key words you guys and places we have letter confirmation q we have jewish August. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. That's a timestamp, by the way. South American and Scottish. All right. So that's all I have for you. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, Libras. If you did, let me know. Comment, comment, comment. Let's keep these free, um, amazing readings going. My nail polish is just cracking off, you guys. Very oily nail beds I have. <clears throat> all right, Libra. So again, um, Peace to you and those you love. And again, I pray you have the courage to see the chains that hold you back. And I hope you find the courage to break them. Because again, this 2020 theme for the hourglass is an unbullshitified life. Holla if you hear me. Holla if you with me. A cycle has definitely closing where you're giving too much energy and time to people who are not reciprocating as well. You're moving on. You're transitioning. Beautiful. And it's now time to protect that loving, that light energy within yourself know that you have that love see yourself like how the divine creator sees you libra some of you are very getting very spiritual as well and this is helping you to move forward in life giving you this inner power this inner strength to resist things that are not of your highest good giving you this princess of swords a new look possibly a more lasting value as well i also see um yeah you're gonna be clearly uh, communicating that you're going to have some good news and you're going to be put in a position to make the right choices. Some of you have clear direction here as well. That's apparent in your life because of these painful endings. All right. So again, you guys, see you guys in another video. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.